Federal agents are looking over dozens of guns seized in a major drug raid. Forsyth County investigators found the weapons and thousands of dollars in meth in a house not far from a school. Channel 2's Tom Regan is live in Forsyth County. And Tom, that seizure also included silencers. Yeah, we understand that many of these weapons did not have serial numbers. It was all discovered when investigators seized or raided this home, rather, along Bagley Drive. It's concerning because our kids play outside all the time. Parents at a nearby subdivision were stunned to learn of the raid just up the road. Forsyth County Sheriff's investigators seizing thousands of dollars in meth and a dozen firearms, including assault-style rifles, a handgun reported stolen out of Milton, and more. A great issue was the fact that we found what appears to be two illegal homemade silencers. Sheriff Ron Freeman, who recently expanded his narcotics unit, told me the bus came from persistent work by his drug investigators. They were somewhat surprised by the size of the arsenal of weapons they discovered in the home. No one has that cache of weapons when they're selling drugs if they don't have bad intentions. There were some AR-15s, and, and that in and of itself is not an issue, again, for someone to possess that. It's the fact that they're a drug dealer possessing that, committing a felony. Investigators arrested two men. William Pruitt is charged with possession of meth with intent to distribute and weapons charges. Jason Bagwell is charged with drug possession. I saw the post on Facebook, so... Hard to believe. It is hard Right to up believe. the street. Yeah, yeah. Makes you just want to be even more cautious when your kids are out playing. We never knew that that was going on right there. And we're told that the ATF is now examining those weapons to try to determine their origin. Live in Forsyth County, Tom Regan, Channel 2, Action News.